chances are they will open more doors and they will close to you and you'll become interested in other disciplines. I get a lot of like on Instagram, for example, I get a lot of direct messages in my inbox asking me like how they can get started in their movement practice. And um, over the course of trying to answer many of those questions and, and sort of failing in many ways, I think the best answer that I've been able to come up with is a local answer. Um, start local, start with what's available to you and all movement practices are, are practices if they're practiced in the right way. Um, so, and I think that has to do with the quality of the teacher. If you find a teacher that's teaching at a high enough level in any discipline, you're, they're going to be teaching these principles in their own way. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to be teaching at least from those principles in their own way. And so, so you're saying like look for somebody who really embodies the principles that you, you want to seek out or want to experience in your own life. Look for somebody who's exceptional in their field. Look for somebody who is, who is passionate about what they do because they love the journey and they love to share it with people. And um, that can be in any discipline that is close to you is what I'm saying. Start local. Um, like, you know, if you're in South America, go with capoeira, go with, go with, um, go with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, go with, go with salsa, go with, you know, whatever you find. Um, but just find an exceptional person and, yeah. and, and, and who is willing to share with you. And if you got money, pay them. If you don't try to work it out, you know, like that's cause, um, but anyway, all, all those disciplines are entrance points. And if you, if you find a teacher who is willing to come from principles like that, um, mm -hmm. chances are they will open more doors and they will close to you and you'll become interested in other disciplines and how they can inform your practice. And it will start to spider web out from there. You know, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's what I think. Yeah. And, and inevitably I think more people, you know, if you look, if this, I'm pulling this out of my ass, but if we were to do a group study, you know, with like, a, you know, 10,000 people and just throw them into a specialized discipline. I think the number of the percentage of people who would come out confused about what is dogma and what is, um, and, and, and what is sort of a universally applicable, um, practice for people or, mm -hmm. or path would be greater than the people who come out of a generalized movement practice with, without having access to those, to those principles. So I, I guess my, my, my sort of insight into this insight uh, happened, first started to happen in college when I was reading, I was, I was heavy into Friedrich Nietzsche and I picked up his book, uh, The Will to Power. And um, basically this is sort of his masterpiece that was never really published by his hands. Um, mm -hmm. And it was unfinished and largely in shorthand notes. And, um, but basically the principle of this work is that all life is the will to power and um the uh the principle uh behind this is that uh this is a um uh this this phrase describes a process right like mm -hmm. some people say some people say that the you know every you know all human behavior is driven by well-being or all human behavior is driven by survival or right. procreation or happiness these are static concepts um, uh, and what Nietzsche is describing, the, it, it, what he, when he describes all life as being and moving toward the will to power, um, the, the will to power is a process. And um, to translate that into more accessible terms, uh, maybe I would say um, that the journey, whether it's practice or movement or self-inquiry or finding a career or, or having children or starting a family or whatever you choose to do with your life, mm -hmm. um, uh, that looking for a static concept is a pitfall and mm -hmm. is a misguided path and it leads to disappointment and unfulfillment. So if you're trying to find happiness, if you're trying to find uh, well-being, stop. Uh, the the answer is in the process and you are a process and um in the most meaningful um the most meaningful path will be a path and not an end mm -hmm.